Hey everybody, it's Jack from the Camp Chef Culinary Team. Hey, we're down here in southern Utah uh, doing some videos. We cooked up some breakfast yesterday and got busy, wasn't able to clean our grill. So now I'm going to show you how to clean the grill. All right, first step, what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat this griddle up. And I'm going to heat it up on low. There's no need to go up on high. That's just going to create more hot steam that we don't want to deal with. So I'm going to heat it up on low and we're going to go ahead and start scraping it down. A couple things that I found work really well. Bench scraper. This works fantastic for getting those big pieces off. Sorry, it's probably pretty noisy out there. Boom, scrapes it all down nice. The other one, I really, really like this chainmail scrubber. Um, great for cast iron, works well on these flat tops as well. Okay, the other thing I found works, sometimes, you know, if anybody knows me, I'm kind of absent-minded and I forget some of this stuff, so sometimes I have to deal with what I got. And I found kosher salt works fantastic as well. Just throw a little bit of kosher salt on there. You usually have it when you're cooking, so use it to clean. You can throw some of that on. Add a little bit of oil or water to it. And that does a fantastic job cleaning your griddle. Okay, that's just gonna bring all those food particles up, get that clean. Any of those methods is gonna take up that, that gunk that you had from burgers, you know, maybe you had some chicken on there. We had eggs on here that stick really, really well. Uh, so any of those methods is gonna pull those food, food particles up. Um, now we gotta start the next step in the cleaning process. That's just getting everything off. Go ahead and utilize this nice grease tray up here in front. Don't forget to get in your corners and on the sides. Now we got the majority of that scraped into our tray here. We're just gonna kinda go down the V, put it in the corner, and then just drop it into our grease tray here on the side. All right, so the next step is just go ahead and get that fine tuning done. We wanna put all those fine particles that have been really stuck on there. Um, we got all the big stuff scraped off. So let's, uh, I found, you know, either water works really well for that. Uh, we're actually gonna use a little bit of a mixture of water and vinegar. That'll just really help do a deep clean um, on this. Make sure you don't dump a bunch of cold water on here. Uh, this is a hot griddle and the cold water uh, could cause some problems. I like to use a little sprayer. And we can just wet that down. You can direct the spray to where you need it to go. You've got an area right here that's got really stuck on the egg. I'm just gonna go ahead and dump just a little bit slowly on there. There we go. Okay, at this point you can go ahead and either throw that chain mail back on. Give that a swirl around. Super careful, that is hot steam. Okay, so why go to all this work? Why, what are we doing here? So this is a steel griddle, okay? There's just nothing, uh, there's nothing, that, no amount of seasoning or anything that you can put on this griddle is gonna keep it from rusting if it gets wet. Uh, things that are gonna hold that wetness is, you know, having a dirty griddle, those food particles were gonna, you know, get on there it's going to get moist it's going to cause problems so you want to get all the food particles off and plus who wants to eat the eat that anyway right so make sure you keep your grill clean and oiled up all right now we've got it all cleaned we got all the food particles off now we want to put a little bit of oil on that so that's going to help keep the the moisture out of the pores of the still these camp chefs are awesome so fun to use if you're probably here because you own one you know how great they are to use uh, a little bit of maintenance really goes a long way. Uh, go ahead and season that. These come pre-seasoned, um, so they're ready to go right out of the box. Uh, but you do have to maintain that seasoning. And basically all I do is a little bit of oil. And I'm just using peanut oil today. Uh, if I got olive oil, if that's what I'm cooking with, or canola oil, that's what I'm going to be using. But I generally uh, use peanut oil because that's normally what I cook with. All we gotta do is pour a little bit on there. 
spread it around and it's just like cast iron just want a thin layer push all the excess oil to the front it's going to run down the grease tray and these little disposable cups are awesome now I, all I got to do pull that out throw it away so much easier on cleanup now remember you just want a really thin layer it doesn't take a lot so just keep that wiped down paper towel works okay I don't have my microfiber rags with me today but paper towel is going to leave a little bit of fiber on your grill um, nothing wrong with that it, you just make sure you get it cleaned off but a microfiber towel works really well okay now that I've got a thin layer of oil on there I'm just going to come back go back up to high once we go up to high and that starts to add you start to see it smoke then I'm going to go ahead and turn it off that's going to really set that oil in it's going to make you a nice non-stick surface and you're ready to start on the next cook thanks for watching make sure you like subscribe and leave us a comment.